That dude cheated. <laughs> Yo, what's good, gang? This is Mythos, and I'm so glad that we are so close to 300 subs. Absolutely insane. I appreciate every single one of you guys. But anyways, I'm bringing you guys the most insane, fastest mobility FJX horse where it barely affects recoil control. I've never ran this fast in Call of Duty, and I just felt like I was gliding all across the map. If you guys think the FJX horse is meta SMG, like, comment, let me know. If it's not the FJX horse, then comment. For the fastest FJX horse class setup, you're going to want to start out with the barrel because it's going to unlock the muzzles for you. So the best barrel to use for the fastest mobility is the Roost 90 light barrel. As you can see, it helps a ton with aim down sight speed, spin to fire speed, movement speed, and spin speed a ton, and it barely affects recoil control. And for the muzzle, since you're using a more mobility based attachments for this build, you're going to want to use a Zem 35 compensated flash hider, helps with vertical and horizontal recoil, fire aim stability, and barely has you in the radar. For the underbarrel, you're going to want to use the DR6 hand stop. This is going to be great for mobility. You're going to improve aim down sight speed, aim walking speed, spin to fire speed, movement speed, and it does not affect recoil control, which is great. For the magazine, you could use 32 or the 48 or 60. For this gameplay, I use a 60. I felt like, I, you know, the less time I can reload, the more people I can get and more moving I am. And then for the stock, there's options here. If you want the really, really fast one, you can use a no stock. However, you will have a ton of recoil um, control deficits. So I do recommend the Ripper light stock because it's going to help a ton with mobility, like aim walk speed, spin to fire speed, movement speed, while minimally harming recoil control. This is the fastest FJX mobility class setup. Let's see how fire it is. Damn, no recoil with this. What the hell are you doing over here, bro? All right, get this dog tied real quick. Anybody over here? What is your favorite map, guys, from the small mash mosh pit? Even, damn, even the hit fire is going to fire. Do you like rust? Do you like meat? Do you like stash house? Do you like shipment? Emergency, I believe it's on there. There might be another one, too. What is the your most favorite one out of all? Oh, damn, honestly, he was behind me with a knife. Group, group. But that was got got. All right. Oh, 360 out his ass. All right, let's see another guy. This honestly, this one has way less recoil than I thought. I probably could have rocked the no stock attachment on this, especially for this map where you're not really like any really in any medium range of engagements. All right, they level up to the middle here. Oh shit, I'm surrounded by people right now. I might be dead here. I think he was gonna ego chow me. Why didn't he just do that? All right, let's walk around. We're fragging out right now. I gotta get my cluster mine and my helo, my advance, so that I can turn up. Another guy right here. This guy is chasing me. Oh, yeah, I got that guy. It's all good. I got the cluster mine and still that over here. Get some free kills to help me with my streaks. Yeah, let's see anybody out here. Nope. I have to get what do you call boy eyes on this weapon. I still haven't gotten it yet. I just got Orion with it. I haven't been playing zombies much, honestly. To me, I just got kind of bored of it. I got burnt out of it. It's just what it is. I can't wait for BO6 zombies. It's gonna be so much better. Imagine doing camel grinding, camel grinding and round base zombies. You know, like you actually have to play smart so you can continue playing, continue getting kills for zombies. But hopefully, there's a whole bunch of different modes for zombies. Like in Black Ops Cold, where I never played the zombies in that game. But I know there was Outbreak, there was Round Base. There was a whole bunch of, like, almost like mini games and different modes that you can do. Hopefully they have that for this one coming out. Because honestly, like, right now with the open world, it's fire. And it was fire and fun to complete the missions and go unlock camos. But after that, the only thing you really have to do is complete to get, you know, the plans. I forgot what it's called. But... You got SRG, so you have a small percentage to get these master plans, you know. So you gotta keep grinding and grinding, playing the same mission over and over. And really, you could do it solo, but having a party is a lot better. Just because you're gonna have to fight bosses and it can require more people. For the casual person, it's gonna be very hard. Nearly impossible to do it by themselves. But for someone who's been playing zombies for a long time, don't try to ego child like that. How did he know I was there? Wow. I always do that shit. I always end up killing myself with the cluster mine. I didn't even see nobody near me. I don't know how I died right there. Why are you running, bro? All right. At least I can my advance UB. I can kind of frag out right now. I can play a little slow. Just to get these because someone's behind me too. Yep. Damn, this class is just fucking shitting on these people. They're all over here right now. Where are you going? All right. Yep, another guy right here. Oh, am I dead? Oh my God. I thought that grenade was going to kill me right there. 
See, this is why I love Smash Mash, Small Map Mosh Pit. It's just so intense and so much action, bro. You can really see the true potential um, with this game, with this gun in this game mode. Just because there's so much people moving, so much moving parts. It also shows people's like skills, in my opinion. Because if you play a very, uh, medium sized map, large sized map, you can just camp for your streaks, but in these small map mosh pits, like in this map, you definitely have to run and gun around to get some streaks. Because if not, the other team's gonna end up getting streaks and then you're gonna they're gonna loop their streaks and then it's pretty much game over. That's the thing, I feel like now that you can, you know, loop the streaks, the pretty much the person who gets it first is the one who oh my god, this guy's a rush. Get the fuck away from me, bro. Yo, oh my god, teammate, help me, please. Shoot his leg or something. Get him out. Get him out. I don't know if he's behind me. Okay, I think teammate got him. Good shit. Yeah, because that right show guy put his back towards him. And damn, that guy really pulled it out. And I think he pulled it out for me, bro. Pause. Oh, that didn't sound right. All right. What? Wait, what did I die by? I died to a cluster mine again? How is it still cluster mine over there, bro? That was like at the start of the game, like five minutes ago. All right, why run him? Oh, got him. Honestly, the more I'm using the iron sights, the better. I feel like I'm getting with it. It is actually kind of clean. Oh my god, Woo. teammate, get the fuck out of my way. You literally got me killed, bro. If you were out the way, we would've been all good right here. All right. Yep, like there's a little bit of visual recall, but bro, you're gonna be beaming, bro. And this is not even like the aftermarket part where they converted it to AR. I imagine it'll be really good too. But for the purposes of this video, I wanna just get it to be a fast mobility build just so you're moving and grooving. Right, what the hell are they doing over here? Wait, what? Why is there three people in there? My heal my helo isn't even up. I thought they were hiding there because they're getting shot by the helo. Hold up, there's somebody in there, bro. I don't think they left. I right, got one. Got wait. Man, this is about to make me quit the game, to be honest. Cause what is the purpose of being there, to be honest? Alright, reloading. Alright, get me out. Yeah, got you, bro. And a lot of people have been using that grenade that penetrated the drill charges. Especially because with the RGL, with the aftermarket part, you can use Semtexes, you can use drill charges, you can make it into supposedly like a, a slug. I've used it, it's terrible though. It is very terrible. Don't even use that RGL, in my opinion. You're better off running, rocking with a pistol. Alright, they're all over here. This guy's out on me. Oh, juke his ass. Yep, let me reload. Anybody else over here? Damn, this game is about to end. I need my DNA, bro. I'm kind of stressing too. I'm trying to rush it. All right, popping off right here. I stunned him. Where is it? I'm kind of scared to peek out. I know he has a riot show, bro. Oh, God is ass. See, patience right there. That was patience. That got the riot show guy. I'm running. Come on, Timmy. Help me, help me, help me, help me, help me. I need help, bro. What the fuck? Okay, got him. Yeah, is he cable, bro? His clan tag is cable. V is. I should have honestly let him get the kill, bro. But I'm trying to get a DNA and I'm so close. Maybe I'll let you get the kill after. I'm so close. Throw this customized so you can, this person can blow up to pieces. Yep, got him. You shit, anybody else over here? Yeah. Oh, wait, what? No, no, no. Oh, my God. I, wait, did he just spawn on me? I mean, with small maps, you're going to have shitty spawns. That's just the nature of it. You're not going to have no good spawns, bro. People keep saying it's Sledgehammer has terrible spawn. Not really. I mean, it's the maps. If this maps just, you know, are too small. And second DNA bomb right there. I gotta call this in right now. Yep, I gotta call it in because if not, the game's about to end. They're about to get all the dark. Boom, look at that. I'm popping the fuck off right now, bro. Honestly, I kind of deserve that nuke. I kept trying to get. I was so close the first time. I think I was on a 24 23 kill streak. Alright, but that's game. That dude cheated. <laughs> 110 Yo GG subscribe to my YouTube